Sup, nerds? You might be like, wait, did he just call us nerds? And hell yeah, I called you nerds. You know why? Because YouTube calls you nerds. And YouTube wants you nerds and us nerds and all of us nerds to right click on our videos, look at the stats for nerds, and see what our audio is being balanced at when we upload a video to YouTube. Because YouTube likes to manage your audio and your video, of course, but we're talking about audio. They like to manage your audio and make sure that it meets a certain standard so they either compress it or don't according to how loud your video is when you upload it. This is known as LUFS, or they measure it in LUFS, and they want you to reach a target of negative 14, yeah, negative 14 LUFS when you upload a video. You might be like, wait, what the heck is a LUF? How do I manage my audio so it comes out at negative 14 LUFS, and why? When you upload a video to YouTube, they'll compress the video in some way, shape, or form, and let's say your audio is too loud, they will bring the audio down to a range of negative 14 LUFS, and if it's lower, it does nothing. So, make sure that your audio is as close as you can to negative 14 LUFS when you upload it to YouTube. You can measure LUFS using a, a, vid a video editing software like Premiere Pro, which is what we're gonna use, and you want to make sure that when you export your video, you export it at negative 14 LUFS, that way when you give it to YouTube, they balance all the audio to a standard, so everything somehow sounds somewhat consistent. We're gonna leave it at that, no more science. Here is how you do it in Premiere Pro. If you're not in Premiere Pro, you can stick around because I'll show you what I do in Premiere Pro, which maybe will give you some ideas for other softwares. It's just a simple fix. It takes two minutes, let's hop in here. For instance, this clip right here has dialogue in it. I want to access the Essential Sounds panel. Well, you can go ahead and press this little button right here. It'll open Essential Sound down here, and you can choose what kind of audio this sound is. In this case, it's dialogue, right? So we'll click dialogue, and we'll scroll down to where we see loudness. And let's, you know, actually put dialogue over here. We'll have the whole panel. Forget it. It looks like a mess, but this will be easier for you to see. Over here, we have loudness right here. If we press auto match, right? It will automatically match it to negative 23 LUFS, as you see. The target loudness that we want is negative 14 for YouTube. And there's no way, apparently, here to change this, right? That's where you're wrong, and I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. All we want to do is go find our Adobe folder, which is generally speaking, documents, Adobe. I didn't want to open mine because I got a bunch of personal files there. But find your Adobe folder. It's going to have all your softwares in there, right? You can see I have Premiere Pro and Photoshop and another crap in here. Go and find Premiere Pro. Double click it. Find your version. Mine's version 25. Click that. Go to your profile. Then scroll down and find settings. And then underneath essential sound, just click that. Default dialogue. Here, we're getting to it, right? Dialogue, notice this is dialogue, dialogue, and then right here, essential sound config. We wanna find the configuration file. If you're scared of this, trust me, it's not hard. Promise you, just follow along. It'll be a quarter second that it was gonna take for you to change this. What we wanna do is right click this, open with, and choose a default app. You can open it with your text editor, which is what I do. Open it with your text editor. It's gonna pop up with this big old headache that looks very stressful. Don't worry about it. Let's make it a little larger for you guys. We don't have to read through this. All we have to do is type in command or control F, right? It'll open a search and you can see that I already have the word loudness typed in here because I've done this before. Type in the word loudness. It will now highlight every section of the page that has the word loudness in it. And all we want to do is find the value where it says negative 23 because right here we know that this is negative 23 luffs and we want to change that to negative 14 luffs. Are you catching on at this point? Right here we'll see loudness, no negative 23. Let's keep going. There we go, value, loudness of negative 23. We wanna change this to 14, keep it negative. So don't get rid of that negative symbol right here, but put it to 14, Command S, Control S, save it. If you don't like doing that, you can go to file, save. There you go, that's all you need to do. Now close out the config file, save your project, close your project, reopen your project. And now that we're reopened on the project here, you'll see that the auto match is not matched anymore, right? And that's to be expected. We change the configuration file value that it's trying to reach. So all we do again, press auto match, it'll change it. And now you can see that it says the target loudness is set to negative 14 buffs. Now this is only going to apply to this one clip. So in theory, you'd want to do it to every clip that you're going to be editing and do it at the beginning, not at the end. Um, at least that will save you a little bit of headache. But Let's say that we, we did it to the whole sequence, right? Everything is balanced or whatever. To guarantee that the audio and music and everything is that also balanced, something that I do that I find that works. Now, once again, I'm no expert here, so take me at face value. You go over here to export. Here's our footage, of course. We'll scroll down till we find effects, drop that down, and under loudness normalization, check it. Scroll down here to loudness standard, change this to the ITU BS 1770, whatever one. That's the one I've always learned to do. Uh, go to target loudness of negative and just type in negative 14. 
Now the export, the final video, will be targeted at a loudness of negative 14 luffs. We're gonna have a tolerance, which basically says get it within this certain range of, you know, this actual target. In this case, two is the tolerance. Uh, and then we can also go ahead and just press export. I'm not going to get into the details of all of that stuff, but essentially speaking, you can export at negative 14 levels and you can modify each individual, you know, level in the actual sequence towards a certain range of loudness, measuring it in luffs that YouTube wants. All this does is make sure that YouTube does not change your audio too much when you upload it. So that way the video that you think you're posting with the audio that you think it sounds like actually gets posted to YouTube and sounds like you expected when you upload and watch it somewhere else. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you guys. And if it did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all that crap. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon with a uh, different video. I have my water. Make sure you drink your water. I'm doing a no coffee thing. You'll, you'll see you in the next video. Good night.